Just as the U.S. has become inundated by illegal border crossings, so has Europe been inundated by illegal immigrants and asylum seekers. Here on Full Measure, we've reported on the resulting financial stress and culture clashes from Denmark to Greece. In Great Britain, officials are calling the current wave an invasion and describing many illegal immigrants as criminals. Today, we're off to Europe to take stock. This refugee center in Berlin, Germany, is housed in an old hospital complex. Where are they coming in from? Well, the uh, asylum seekers uh, arrive here, most, mostly from Moldova, Republic of Moldova, which is a neighboring state to Ukraine, uh, to Georgia, uh, which is uh, also a neighbor of Russia, and then Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, African countries like Sudan, Ethiopia, the whole world. Sasha Langenbach is with Berlin's State Office for Refugee Affairs. He says new arrivals stay here a few nights waiting to be interviewed. Everyone gets x-rayed for tuberculosis, an issue especially with people from Eastern Europe. In 2015, Berlin um, counted 79,000 uh, asylum seekers, uh, most of them from Syria, uh, Afghanistan and Iraq, and uh, 55,000 stayed here for good. The year after, we counted 17,000, it was in 2016, until the uh, balcony route was closed. What's the balcony route? Uh, the balcony route is the way ref most refugees usually took coming from Iraq to uh, or, uh, Afghanistan, Syria, via Turkey, then across the Mediterranean via boat to Greece and then they took cars or, or vans or they even marched the whole way through the Balkany countries like, uh, like Greece, Macedonia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Serbia, until they reached Western Europe. In 2019, I saw the refugee crisis from the Greek perspective after boarding a Greek Coast Guard ship for this full measure report. Right now we're in Greek waters, but Back there, where those lights are, that's Turkey. At its closest point, it's just a couple of miles away from Greece, and we're sitting in a hot spot for picking up refugees. How many immigrants would you estimate you've picked up? Thousands. Thousands? The smuggling pipeline is so well established and predictable, the captain tells me they know exactly where to go and when. More or less, we have 100, 150 people per night. Tonight, you think we'll have yeah. 150 people? Yes, every night. The last three weeks is like that. Welcome to Europe. Go to this side. Easy, easy, easy. There are more children and babies than either men or women. More than 50 people stuffed in a raft made for 9 to 12. Today, more than three years after that report, ongoing tension. An all-time record 45,000-plus people, mostly Albanian Muslims, entered Britain illegally last year by crossing the English Channel in small boats. About four people are... On my visit to London last summer, I talked about the crisis with Conservative Member of Parliament Marc Francois. Well, we have a particular issue with uh, cross-channel migrants who are being people trafficked uh, for profit across the English Channel from France to Britain. The people who purvey this trade, who profit from it, are utterly heartless and it's a form of moral blackmail. And I don't think we should be morally blackmailed by anyone. We have arranged with Rwanda to take those migrants where they can be processed and their claims for asylum can be properly examined. That policy to send refugees to Rwanda in Central Africa drew harsh criticism from Liberal Member of Parliament Stephen Bonner. We see uh, policies like the um, Rwanda policy. I believe that to be an inhumane policy. We are sending some of the world's most desolate and vulnerable people to a country um, where we know there is human rights um, concerns. In December, London's High Court ruled the Rwanda strategy is legal. 
That same month, Britain's newest prime minister announced aggressive measures to combat illegal immigration, including fast-tracked return of thousands of Albanians. That if you enter the UK illegally, you should not be able to remain here. Instead, instead you will be detained and swiftly returned either to your home country or to a safe country where your asylum claim will be considered. Meantime in Berlin, they continue to work to keep their arms open. How many people approximately are coming in week to week or day to day now here? Uh, Over the first six months in 2022, we counted about 5,000 people. You can handle that much? We can handle that much. And it's uh, very hard to um, to stop migration at all. You know, you, no matter how uh, high the fences are, no matter how big the walls are, and in Berlin especially, we do have uh, some history with walls. We try to be friendly to people in need, but we are not naive. That's why we also go through a registration process. We check their documents. We ask where people come from, what their purpose uh, of their visit is here or their application. Uh, friendly, but not naive. In Berlin, there are so many refugees from Ukraine, a whole separate center at an old airport was opened to exclusively process them.